Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy summer. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and in today's video I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree summer decor crafts. And if you guys can tell right back over here on my mantle, I am over the moon. I've redecorated it and I've used some really amazing bright pops of summer. So this is again another fusion video. I am going to combine farmhouse, shabby chic, glam, and coastal. A little bit of touch of each, you guys, I couldn't resist. So without further ado, grab some beautiful ribbons and florals, pluck in those glue guns, get out your glitter, and let's get to crafting. So for the first Dollar Tree DIY, we are going to create a beautiful floral on my mantle. Here is my mantle, just plain. And then I found this kind of tool box, like wooden box. It's very farmhouse for sure. I found this at the thrift store, and it was on their back dock, and the lady sold it to me for three dollars and I was so excited I paid them and I ran off in case they wanted more. Now we're going to take some of those Dollar Tree large Gerber daisies. These are so beautiful. I also picked up some sunflowers and then I had some of these florals over here left over from some of my spring projects. I found a bunch of these at the Dollar Tree but I also found some of those roses at a garage sale. So always keep your eyes peeled for good deals on florals. Now I'm just going to go in at the base of this floral arrangement and I want to use some of the taller Dollar Tree florals. They're just white florals and then I'm going in with this beautiful kind of garland. I love having a great green garland base. So I really love to start with my greenery first and then build around that. Now inside of this kind of a farmhouse toolbox box type of planter here I have have several pieces of, of Dollar Tree styrofoam glued to the bottom. I just hot glued it to the bottom and then I am pushing the ends of this garland down into that because I want it to trail over the side of this. I want it to be very flowy, very summertime fresh. I know my garden really starts to get um, green and just kind of English garden flowy, I guess is what I'm going for. Um, and so I'm just adding in some more of those Dollar Tree florals in the white color. Again, I want to start with that green and white neutral base. Now I'm adding in some adorable these were actually kind of a pale pink daisy, I believe, and they came in with some of those garage sale florals that I found, but originally they were in a bouquet from Hobby Lobby. So also don't forget too, you guys can get great discounts on florals by using your Hobby Lobby or your Michaels coupon. Just go online and they should have a 40 to 50% off coupon available that you all can use. So I'm adding in some more of those large Dollar Tree Gerber daisies and these are the largest part of the flowers so I just want to add them here and there and then kind of build the arrangement in and around those and check out this pop of yellow okay I usually don't use a lot of yellow but ever since Dollar Tree put out their lemon dishes and I got hooked on those you guys I've been adding in some pops of yellow and I think summer is the perfect time for yellow because it's such a sunshiny happy color I'm even sneaking in some sunflowers. They're really hot right now and yellow is actually even a trending decor color I noticed at the beginning of the year in home decor. So now you can see I'm adding in some more of the little smaller florals in and around some of those larger florals. Now you all, I also added in some of those Dollar Tree ferns you can see kind of towards the back, but I really love to go over the top. So this is a very full arrangement. This is my style. You guys can definitely pare this down or if you're crazy like me, go over the top, add lots of flowers. Hey, who knows? We might be having a wedding here. <laughs> So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm digging into my ribbon stash. I have several Dollar Tree ribbons and then I have this larger wider ribbon that I got at BurletFabric.com. They also sell some wider larger lace ribbon at some of the craft stores. So what I want to do is I just want to take this ribbon and we're going to create a 
quadruple layered Olivia bow, you just want to loop it over on itself several times, find the center, and then add a little notch to the center on one side, turn it around and add a little notch to the center on the other side, and that's going to give you something you can take your Dollar Tree pipe cleaner and just twist tie that on, and that's going to be the base of my bow. Now, I really love to use wired ribbon with this bow, but I am using the ribbon that I have on hand. I did not go out and buy any ribbon for this project because I have other things I want to spend money on this month, so I'm just going to use what I have on hand. But I am fluffing this ribbon out. Now, I did grab some ribbon from Michaels about a month ago, and I want to go ahead and use this in this project. So again, you're going to take and you're going to fold the ribbon over on itself and just continue folding the ribbon over on itself. And I used almost the entire roll to do this next Olivia bow. So you can see I'm counting. I usually like to count three loops on each side of my ribbon. And then you're just going to fold it in the center and then notch it on one side, turn it around and notch it on the other side. And then you're going to take and you're just going to pipe cleaner that layer on. Get it as tight as you can really. That'll help your ribbon um, stand up just a little bit better. And then this is the fun part. This is the secret to any bow is give it a really good fluffing. And you really can't mess this part up. So just continue to fluff as you go. And you can see also I'm dovetailing my ends. A little secret trick there, just fold it in half and cut upwards. Be careful as you're cutting. Um, but that is going to give you that really beautiful boutique finish that you see in a lot of the floral stores or on a really high end creation. So now I'm taking some of that Dollar Tree green ribbon. This is a bit of a bold green. Usually I do a lot lighter colors, but because this arrangement had so many bold greens, I wanted to tie in a little bit of a bolder color. This is the same process. I just looped the ribbon over on itself, gave it a little cut in the center, and then I'm tying it on. Now always remember with your cuts, do not cut very far into your ribbon because it can make your bow fall apart. Again, you want to give it a really good fluffing. Now I'm layering another pattern onto this, and this is that Dollar Tree Buffalo Chip Plaid. Now I have a lot going on with this ribbon, but because my floral is so large, I feel like that it can handle this much. And I'm also using complementary colors. Now I'm taking some of that Dollar Tree Burlap Ribbon. It's a burlap ribbon that's wired with a little bit of lace that runs down the center. I love this one. I use it all the time. I'm making a smaller Olivia bow because this was already pre-cut and I'm just using what I have and then I'm looping it over into the center of this again and then I'm going to go ahead and fluff that out really nice and good. Once you have your ribbon all ready, you can go ahead and tuck it into your arrangement. I do like to take just a piece of stem from some of the florals and poke that into the back of my ribbon and then pop that into my arrangement. Give your bows a good fluffing and voila, it is a beautiful arrangement. Oh, so ready for summertime with these beautiful vibrant colors. If you do do a lot of shabby chic and pastel decor, just mix in some of those pastel florals and I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now it would be amazing if I had just a little bit of yellow and pink ribbon so if I find a great deal on some I may end up popping that into here but again I wanted the florals to take center stage and I wanted the ribbon to be more of kind of a romantic French farmhouse if that makes sense. Um, just tying in some of those farmhouse vibes for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to use one of those Dollar Tree woven placemats and this Dollar Tree frame. These actually you can buy during Halloween time. They were black and I had painted mine white. So I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm just going to Sharpie a little bit larger than the size of this frame all the way around the entire frame. And I actually have two of these frames, so I wanna make matching pictures. I have this really cool idea to make this framed matching beach art. I really don't go over the top decorating for the summer, so I really wanna be thrifty and just figure out some fun things to do without spending a whole lot of money. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut into that woven placemat and I want to cut a little bit larger around this circle just to be sure that when I hot glue the woven placemat circle, 
on to this frame that it works. And you guys could use any frame that you can find at the Dollar Tree or at Walmart or the thrift store. Just paint it whatever color you love and then go for it. So again, I'm cutting out the other one and then I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue very carefully in and around the outer edge of this frame and then go ahead and attach my little placemat to that. Again, I had to be really careful because I didn't want the glue to drip down into the frame. So this might be kind of the only tricky part. So hot glue on the outer edge is how I handled that one. Once I had both my frames ready, I just used some of these seashells. I actually found these at the thrift store, but Dollar Tree does sell bags of seashells. And then you can make your really cool little seashell collage. So you're just gonna hot glue some glue to the back of your seashell and then press that down. You could also use a bit of E6000 glue um, if you wanted to, to last and adhere just a little bit better, but hot glue for this project was perfect. That way if I decide to reuse these seashells, all I have to do is peel off a bit of that hot glue but I am absolutely in love with this project you guys I really feel like this could be you know $20 at a TJ Maxx or high-end decor store and we did it for next to nothing so great little fun easy beach decor summer decor um, and you guys could use other things besides shells. You could use vintage jewelry, you could use broken jewelry, you could just use any really little knickknack that you wanted to frame. You could even do this for a child's room and add, you know, a letter to the center. But I love how the woven placemat gives it kind of that relaxed summertime vibe. And I thought it looked really cute next to my big farmhouse, French chic, beachy. <laughs> Um, huge over-the-top floral arrangement. I don't do a lot of really over-the-top decor in my living room, but I do go crazy with my mantle. I think it's so fun and just really relaxed and easygoing. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanted to create a kind of a little bit more of a custom sign, but I didn't want to get fussy with this one. So I'm just using one of those Dollar Tree it's just a square, breezy, easy, beachy boardwalk sign. It had those perfect colors for my pastel aesthetic. And of course, you guys know me, I didn't want any of this mat to go to waste. And so I'm going ahead and trimming out the rest of the side part of that mat. My idea is to kind of frame out this sign. Um, it's a really cute sign, but I just wanted to give it that little bit of extra pizzazz. And so I hot glued the larger piece up there at the top and then the smaller piece over those little tiny holes that I would have used to hang the sign. And then now I'm just hot gluing again to the base, that larger piece of the woven placemat. And then I'm gonna also do that to the base of this sign. And that's really what I, all I wanted to do to this sign. I wanted it to look like, again, it came from more of a high-end decor store, but it cost us, you know, less than $2 to make. And I added a little gold easel underneath it, and I think it looks absolutely fabulous. And nobody would know that that came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so for the next Dollar Tree DIY, go ahead and grab one of your Dollar Tree Easter baskets or really any basket. Add some styrofoam to the center. Now, of course, I did uh, chalk paint this basket with some of my homemade chalk paint white, and then I add a little gray over it. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a floral with the leftover florals from my big mantle decor. So I'm using that large Gerber Daisy from Dollar Tree, some taller white florals, and then I love, again, using the ferns during the summer. I think it gives that really nice southern flair. Um, it's also a great filler, and Dollar Tree did an amazing job on their florals this year, you guys. So definitely peek in on those. I also added some tall onion grass, and I couldn't resist a cute little hot pink rose and then a little sunflower. I love going into people's homes and seeing a beautiful floral on their entryway table. And I just thought this would be perfect for my entryway table. And it would also mix in and give a little bit of pop of color um, because we did that pop of color on the mantle. So I wanted to go ahead and continue kind of some of that theme throughout. And also next to my entryway table, I have that really beautiful flea market flip um, hall tree that Mr. Romantic made for me. And it's kind of that really bold turquoise. And I wasn't gonna do a turquoise floral, but I really thought 
that the yellows would just be absolutely perfect and beautiful. So you're just going to continue to add in your florals. Be creative, dig into your stash, see what you've got, and just go for it. I'm just poking them directly into that styrofoam. I didn't even add any hot glue. It just went perfectly. So I was really loving this. I thought it came out really festive, perfect for summer. I did add in also some of those little pink daisies just to kind of offset the yellow a little bit and tone it down and then some Queen Anne's lace to finish it off and voila it is the absolute perfect entryway table floral I'm over the moon with how this came out so definitely remember put your taller florals at the back and then bring some of your others to the front Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm taking one of those Dollar Tree turquoise frames that has the beautiful gold rim and it kind of has a deeper setting on it. I'm just going to remove the backing. I'm going to add in this lovely picture of my family. We were actually out by the lake and so I just thought it would be the kind of the perfect summertime photo. I'm using some of those leftover seashells. I don't want this decor to be over the top fussy because it's going to go next to that really beautiful floral that we just created. So I'm just adding some hot glue to the base of this picture frame and then I'm going to go ahead and add in those seashells and I just kind of random I scattered them about but I felt like it was really kind of glam and beautiful and summertime ready and it also brings in again like I said that turquoise you guys can't see it here but there's a turquoise hall tree that I just needed a tiny bit of turquoise and when I remember that frame I knew it was the perfect piece to use right here and I think it looks really beautiful next to the sign and the floral because the sign did have a little bit of blues in it so I think it is just the perfect mix I am over the moon in love with this so comment and let me know what is your favorite summertime Dollar Tree floral and I've asked you guys before but I love hearing what you all have to say what is your favorite way of decorating for the summertime do you add in some pops of color do you stay with neutrals do you add blues how do you guys decorate for summer is it farmhouse coastal um, French chic shabby chic I would love to hear so definitely drop a comment below and let me know what is your favorite um, decor style for summer I love hearing from you guys you guys are just so inspiring and I just want to thank you also for commenting and for being here all of your love and support I know I say this every time but it's truly felt and you guys just really encourage me and keep me going and so I just want to say thank you thank you for being here thank you for watching and I hope you are enjoying this DIY video I also hope that you're feeling inspired relaxed and happy to give just a little bit of love and attention to your home um, with some of these fun DIYs So thank you guys so much for joining me on another DIY decorating adventure. Comment and let me know what you think about my fusion style of some bright pops of summer, a little bit of beachy glam, and kind of some farmhouse touch sprinkled in. I hope you guys are enjoying this summer series. I am sharing with you guys how you can make your homes boutique, gorgeous on a budget. You can tell my excitement I love decorating. I swear, I think I could redecorate my home every single day. If I had the time and energy, I probably would. <laughs> So anyway, if you guys love to do DIYs and tons of home decor projects, I would love to have you subscribe, be part of my YouTube family. It is such an amazing community that I have here. You guys are so wonderful. All of your kind comments just are so felt um, for me, for my husband, my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for everybody that participates in my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group, you guys' projects are amazing. I love seeing what you're up to. It's so inspiring and I just love Love it. So thank you guys again. Check out that Facebook group page. Check out my Instagram page. I also post behind the scenes of my little wacky life on my Instagram stories. So definitely check that out. Until the next time, you guys, I love you so much and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.